All right, I'm going to take you on a driving tour with commentary of International Drive. We're first coming up to the Orange County Convention Center. You'll see it on your right side. I don't know what goes on here, all kinds of events. I haven't been to any event here yet. This is the south side of International Drive. It's the bougier side. <laughs> because this is where most of the more luxurious hotels that you can find here are Hyatt Regency uh, what else we're gonna go up and down on both sides as well okay this is it Hyatt Regency very nice beautiful hotel here a while back I did uber for a few months and I got to know the area pretty well It's a massive property, massive. This is another side of it. There's two sides. I don't, I never really knew when you book it, you know, which hotel are you staying at? The left or the right one? That's what I would call it. And people would just say the one further down or this one right here. you see there a Universal Studios sign but it's not actually right over here and this guy cut me off a bit here Hyatt Regency and public parking so a lot of paid parking areas here you really don't want to park your car just anywhere because it could and it most likely will be towed by the property where you leave your car there's a few public parking spaces that are free but it's very limited you're better off at one of these public paid parking spots it's cheaper to pay twenty dollars than whatever a couple hundred dollars to get your car from the tow company okay pretty soon we're gonna come up to I call it Restaurant Row. There's a bunch of restaurants all sort of on top of each other. Here we go. And this is the Point Orlando. It's kind of like a food hall, but it's it's a bunch of restaurants and they usually have valet parking. Right now when I see it's closed. They have a bunch of restaurants here. The Hampton Social, the Pub, the Cuban Restaurant. Marlowe's Tavern. It continues also. There's two sections here. Hot Daddy Burger Bar. Rodizio is a Brazilian buffet sort of steakhouse. There you go. Here's Rodizio on your right. And there's also a lot of chain restaurants. You'll see them coming up. This is one of the other parking public parking spaces that I recommend here. This is Wonderworks. It is a science museum, all kinds of photo opportunities and amazing things you can do there. And here coming up is I Fly Indoor Skydiving. This is one I want to go to eventually. And here is an ice bar. So everything is ice in there apparently. Miller's Ale House, a famous restaurant throughout the country. Some people think it, it's a local spot, but it's not. You got a Walgreens here. I think there's also a Walgreens on the other side as well. We're coming up. Smoke Shop, Subway, Domino's, TGI Fridays, Bahama Breeze. What else is over here? I think Senor Frogs, uh, Howl at the Moon, Denny's, Hooters, your chain restaurants over here. Senior Frogs. They got all you can eat tacos on Tuesdays. We're going to have to do one of those reviews. Liquor store. This liquor store probably makes a lot of money. 
Boston Lobster Feast. I've been meaning to try that place out too. I heard there's a limit how much time you can stay there. Vito's Chop House. Cafe Tutu Tango. This is one I have on my radar. Pretty soon we're going to review it. And here we have Pirate's Cove Adventure Golf. It's really lovely themed. And it's a nice thing to do if you're not going to the parks on one day. In the background you can see the iconic Icon Park Ferris Wheel. It is a great way to get an aerial view of all of Orlando. You could probably see as far as Disney and their iconic uh, and their park icons, I should say. And here's somebody. Somebody got a hole in one at the miniature golf. I haven't visited this miniature golf. I haven't visited any down here since we moved. So that's definitely on my list. We'll have to check it out. There's the one also at Universal Studios that I want to visit. I'm not sure which one's better. Okay, we're coming up to, as I said, Icon Park. This is the drop tower that was in the news. Uh, the young man passed away. The restraints weren't good enough, I believe, for his size. It's a tragedy. Here we have more restaurants. This is these are part of Icon Park. They have there's also Madame Tussauds there, the Wax Museum, Shake Shack, Buffalo Wild Wings, Carabas, Charlie Steakhouse. There's a Chinese buffet down here somewhere as well. So plenty to do here. If you're staying one of the hotels across the street from here. We're coming up on Ripley's Believe It or Not. They love to do these sort of almost falling apart buildings. Beautiful. All right, more chain restaurants here. We got a Red Robin. Those souvenir gift shops with third-party Disney or Universal Studios merchandise an escape game Chewy's Mexican food BJ's I never heard of that we got Perkins coming up another Walgreens they got a monopoly down here <laughs> and here is the north side here you'll find more of your fast food a beach shop Popeyes, Burger King, Taco Bell a little bit further up, IHOP, and in this area there's some hotels, they're going to be on the lower end of the star spectrum, but mostly motels. Here's the Taco Bell I was mentioning. Looks like it was renovated recently. Hmm. And an empty parking lot next to it. Let's wait for the red light. Okay, we got a lingerie shop. A supermarket that sells beer, wine, cigarettes, and some groceries. Hookah Lounge. Your late night fun. CC's Pizza is coming up. It's an all-you-can-eat pizza, pasta, salad, and dessert. There's also another Italian uh, buffet here on International Drive. I think it's further up on the south side. Sugar Planet. And there's a Chuck E. Cheese. Looks recently renovated as well. Bring the kids on your non-theme park day. We got a little shopping center. You can get some tattoos, dentists, pizza. K 
King's Point burgers a luggage shop oh no it's one of those souvenir shops there's a Chili's I see there's a ghost go uh, I see there's a go-kart track here but I've never seen it operational I don't know if it, they shut it down and some empty buildings so maybe they did what else another mini golf gator golf place and King's Pizza New York style some more Disney gifts the iconic bargain planet you might remember it from previous visits down to Orlando another Brazilian steakhouse what else do we have here Applebee's is coming up more Disney gift shops oh here it is actually Oreganata this is the other Italian buffet I was mentioning earlier $10.99 all you can eat pizza and pasta twisty treat amazing soft serve down here waffle house love those waffles <laughs> and the two egg breakfast that's my go-to there here we're coming up to I believe some hotels here this might be the Universal hotels yeah they are endless summer and I don't know what the other one is called Universal Studios endless summer resorts maybe that's the name for both of them and they have two sides two different sides possibly okay we got a 7-eleven got a red lobster quality in by the way if you're looking for a good Brazilian steakhouse that's unlimited I would recommend Adega Gaucha I also filmed a video trying everything there love the owners very friendly people great service you won't be disappointed here we have some more these are like are they tourist traps I don't really know they're not I haven't been to any of these they're not chain restaurants but they're just small restaurants possibly locally owned we got a sneaker shop there is a Brazilian bakery there that I've been meaning to visit as well. Amor em Pedacos, something like that. This is pretty much the end here. There's a little Brazilian section I'm gonna show you guys with an amazing Brazilian bakery that I have been to. It's called Pau Gostoso. They have amazing French bread here as well. There's a restaurant here, Camilla's Brazilian restaurant that is supposedly a buffet and it's like Brazilian home cooking I have to come check it out one day it's right here on the left side and over here you'll see Pau Gostoso on the left right here in the corner amazing pastries I love the Pau de Queijo there amazing as well we're gonna have to come here and film everything one day they have sandwiches and burgers also Brazilian sandwiches and I guess Brazilian style burgers as well let's keep going Brazilian shops there was a Brazilian supermarket in here but it's very small they pretty much have a few items from Brazil I also saw empanadas and like raw meats but it's very small Here we will turn here. Bank Burger King Ichiban Buffet. This buffet is not too bad. It's like eight dollars. We did try it once, but we found that some of the food was not kept at, at a hot temperature. It was like lukewarm. So we pretty much stuck to the hibachi grill. You can, if you're gonna do that, you know, eight bucks is a good deal. And here's one of the helicopter tours. I believe there's two here. One of them says $25 for, I think it's a few minutes, maybe 15, 20 minutes. 
This one over here says $39. There's a smoke shop and barber shop as well. All right, let's wait for traffic here to clear up. A Del Taco. I've heard they say that this is better than Taco Bell, but I haven't tried it yet. We'll have to stop by one day. Another shopping center. Lots of liquor stores here, actually, I've been noticing. I didn't realize there were this many. I'm not sure what this is in the corner here. I think it's up for lease. But we're coming up to another Denny's. So two Denny's here and one IHOP on International Drive. There's also a Congo River mini golf. And like I said earlier, this, the north side, you'll see more motels than compared to the south side. Well, very beautifully themed there. A lot of people there playing mini golf. It's a good thing to do on your rest day where you're not going to any of the theme parks. A good option. Well, here is a, the big tower is a Sheraton Four Points Hotel. It's a red light and traffic is not really going anywhere. Here we go, here we go. Oh, here they got to read as Italian ice. I love those Italian ices. I'll have to stop by. There's also a, a, like a locally local place called Jeremiah's, I think. Here's King Cajun Crawfish, recently on the news uh, because of a encounter with a customer. Oh, there is another IHOP here. So two IHOPs. Yeah, King Cajun Crawfish, recently on the news because of an upset Karen, basically, at one of their restaurants over on Mills 50. That's the, basically, I would call it the food district here. That's where a lot of mom and pop type restaurants are that have some amazing food. If you are down here and you have some time, I definitely recommend you go up there and check out the food. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. Another Walgreens also open 24 hours on the corner of this light. In the distance, on the left side of the camera, I think you can see there's Volcano Bay. That is the best water park possibly in the world. Definitely the best water park down here in Orlando. You definitely want to visit. The red lights are slow down here, I remember. From what I remember back in New York. I think they take two, three minutes down here. Now it is. Like I said, Southside has more of your fast food. So here we got KFC as well. Another souvenir shop. And Black Angus Steakhouse. I've never been there. I'll have to visit. We got some motels, hotels here. Indian cuisine. Interesting. More gift shops. Oh, there's a Dairy Queen here. Also, wow. Tucked away. Not very noticeable. Another red light. They're giving them out for free here. <laughs> Take as many red lights as you want. Over here, Rosen Inn, no resort fee, free parking and free Wi-Fi. That'll get you some brownie points. Another hotel, not sure of the name. Avanti Palms Resort and Conference Center. Okay. And a 
billboard here of Madame Tussaud. Tussaud. I don't know how you pronounce that. <laughs> Another Buffalo Wild Wings. I thought we saw one earlier. And infamous Pizza Hut. Famous in the, from the 90s. Although I think the quality wasn't what I remember the last time I tried it a few months ago. Holiday Express. No, Holiday Inn Express. Here's the Titanic Museum Artifact Exhibition. Looks interesting. Coco Key Water Resort. I wonder if they have a... Looks like a motel, actually. I wonder if they have a water park in the back. Hampton Inn and in Suites. Somewhere in the back as well. Game Changers Sports Grill. Another Rosen Inn. They have a few of them here, down here. On International Drive. Another Denny's. I guess they get packed. They needed more than one. The infamous, the famous, the world-renowned. This is the largest McDonald's, I think, in the U.S., possibly in the world. It's two floors. They have an arcade. They have a play place. They sell waffles, and they sell pizza also. Check out one of my videos. You can see the review I did of it. I thought it was great. Great pizza, great waffles. I believe they also have other items that are, you can't find at any other McDonald's as well. Service was a bit slow. I think it took 30 or 40 minutes. <coughs> but they are super packed. In the distance there, you can see there's a checkers off to the side. This is Sand Lake Road. You go to the right here. Or I should say, if you go west on Sand Lake Road, you'll find the Walmart, Whole Foods, uh, if you're looking for any of those kind of places. And also another restaurant row. They have other chain restaurants and mom and pop shops on Sand Lake Road going west. If you go east, you'll find a Starbucks. You'll find an amazing Colombian restaurant called Pio Pio. Great food, highly recommend it. And there's also a Giordano's, the Chicago deep dish pizza. So there's three deep dish restaurants here in Orlando. I think one is called Rose's, there's Giordano's, and there's Uno's. So we'll have to do a Chicago deep dish tour of Orlando one of these days. Tattoo shop, more tourist shops. Oh, here's where they have the new Walt Disney World store been meaning to visit we'll have to check it out and Muya Burgers it's a local chain down here I have to try it I'm not sure if it's good or not Mango's Tropical Cafe they have shows there as well as dinner and drinks Best Western over here and there is Uno's as well the other Chicago deep dish pizzeria I believe in Chicago, Uno's was the original deep dish pizza that you can find up there. They have the original restaurant that had opened up. In the distance also on the left is Longhorn Steakhouse and the Icon Park Ferris Wheel. All right. Another Brazilian steakhouse, Fogo de Chao, right over here on the right. Some people do recommend that one. Five Guys, an escape room game. Not a fan of Five Guys. Not a fan. What's over here? Eat at Joe's. That's the uh, seafood restaurant, the chain. Saltgrass Steakhouse. There's some resorts, hotels and motels in the back of all of these places as well, west of them. More gift shops, another bargain world. Oh, there's another CC's Pizza here. The buffet, the buffet. Tony Roma's, 
There's a friendlies here. I think this is the only friendlies in Orlando. I remember eating those iconic Sundays, the clown Sundays. I miss those. <laughs> Avanti Resort, Embassy Suites. We're also coming up here to Olive Garden. Get your unlimited salad and breadsticks while you're on vacation. Seriously, if you're on vacation, I recommend other restaurants down here in Orlando. Check out my other videos. This is the other Orlando Heli Tours. $25. Oh, well, that's what it was. But it's only for about like 15 or 20 minutes. Something like that. Rosen Inn at Point Orlando. Here is another Pizza Hut. It looks recently remodeled and it has Wing Street as well. You get wings and pizza. Del Frisco's Double Eagle Steakhouse. That's a big building. Here is a CVS to fight the Walgreens battle. <laughs> and Rosen Plaza and we'll get back after this is the Orange County Convention Center again. So we've done a whole loop. I'm glad you guys stuck around. I hope you love seeing the area before you visit down for vacation. Make sure to check my other videos for food spot recommendations. I'll catch you guys next time.